welcome back to A Mortician's Tale, uh, episode 2. Uh, it's February 14th, it's fucking Valentine's Day, and we're gonna fucking see what's up. Oh, we have a lot to read today. Okay. Um, news about the future of Rose and Daughter's funeral home. Hi, all. Oh no. It's with a very heavy heart that I write this to let you know Rose and Daughters will no longer be in business. I had no idea how to start this email and resources I googled told me that would be the best and easiest way to break the ice. Be direct, but remorseful, Google said. The truth is, I don't really know what to say. Since my father passed away, I've done my best to make Rose and Daughters warm and friendly to anyone who chose to use their services. It was my memorial to him, the original Rose, in a lot of ways. And you've all become like family, including you, Charlie, a most recent addition. But it's been getting harder to make ends meet. Rent is going up in the neighborhood, and I'm finding less and less like I have the energy for this business. There's a lot of competition from other funeral homes, larger corporations that than we are, that can take on more business and offer more impressive services. You know the way it goes. So, we've been bought, or sold. Either way, soon, Hillside Heritage Enterprises, Inc., a company that owns many funeral homes in the city and across the country, will, rep will replace Rose and Daughters starting from the beginning of next month. Same building, same name, they're keeping the name Rose and Daughters Funeral Home for tax purposes. Though, honestly, honestly, I'm trying really hard not to see it as a move on their part to keep up the image that it's a family-run business. I don't know how I feel about that. But I also don't know if there's anything I can do at this point either. I've signed the papers. At least my father's legacy is still intact somewhat. They have a good reputation and have agreed to keep you all on. That was one of my stipulations. I would sell as long as you all weren't without a job. Sorry I didn't tell you in a more personal way. I would have loved to have a company lunch, but I admittedly didn't have the heart to tell you in person. This was easier for me. Please understand. That's depressing. Charlie, I thought you'd like to see this thank you note. Aw, thank you. Hi, Amy. I'm so internally grateful that you were able to accommodate our request for my sister's funeral. It was a beautiful service, and she would have been very happy with it. That's such a weird thing to say, isn't it? Thank you again, from the bottom of my heart. I'm gonna skip that, because that's my job. To Charlie. I thought I would forward this to you. In situations like this, we typically connect people like Ryan with a grief counselor or other professionals who can really help him. Sometimes we get emails like this when people don't know where else to turn. It's difficult and family isn't always the most reliable for some people. Usually I would be happy to connect him, but I'm feeling a little tired today. Not my usual self. And it would be good for him to s for you to start building these... Hi, Amy. I know this email might be a bit odd, but... It you said if I had troubles, I could reach out, and you would know somebody I could talk to through all this. I just don't know what to do now. I know my grandmother has lived a full good life, and I was very happy, and that she's not in pain now. But I still, I feel empty, Amy. I've never felt this empty before. What am I supposed to do now? I thought it was stronger than this. Can you refer me to someone to talk to? I don't want to freak out my mom right now. She's dealing with enough with work and the will and the trying to just be the mom she can. I just need somebody to tell me that it'll be okay. How do I reply to this? Wait, what's this? What? Oh, well, I failed. That was, um... I didn't- I didn't understand empty spaces. Charlie, I've been playing a new game when things are slow at work. It's called Tales from- Oh, that's- okay, so it's new! I'm just not stupid. It's like Minesweeper, but way harder. Like, seriously, it's really, really difficult. And I thought Minesweeper game was on point after working that overnight front desk job at the hotel for three years. But I must have gotten rusty. Anyways, instead of mines, you want to avoid graves so you don't disturb the adorable ghosts. The main character also kind of looks like you. Where's the main character? Me? Oh, oh, I see. I see. Uh... The main character also looks like you want to start a healthy competition. High score gets to pick a restaurant... You've lived your life mindful of the environment, doing your part to reduce pollution and generally help out where you can, so why not continue doing that even in death? At least that's the thinking for a lot of people who are turning to green or natural burials. Now 
Natural cemeteries are becoming more popular and focused on a few rules. Mainly, it's that bodies aren't allowed to be embalmed with chemicals that can damage the environment. And bodies must be buried in a biodegradable shroud or casket. Not only is this better for the environment, it's also cheaper. At Union Serum Cemetery in Ontario, 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 Canada, a natural burial is just over $1,000. So better for the people, the environment, just maybe not so good for big business. Let's not forget, people, this is still business after all. But really, why go green? Green burials help preserve natural resources, work to reduce carbon emissions, protect the health of those preparing the bodies, and restore slash preserve natural habitats. Embalming fluids tend to contain formaldehyde, and funeral directors report a higher incidence of leukemia. Going green and not using toxic chemicals for embalming helps protect the funeral directors while at the same time lessening the impact we have on the environment after we're gone. We here at Funerals Monthly think green burials are pretty cool. Pretty gosh darn cool. Okay. What the fuck do any of these mean? Um... But really?! What does moon- What's a moon mean? Okay, so there's definitely one right there or something. Okay, okay. We're, we're learning. This means it's touching two. Well, cause that's what the things in Minesweeper mean. That's only touching one, so that doesn't make sense. And that's- the, This is inconsistent! What is- What is- That's not Jupiter, is it? Maybe that is Jupiter. What the fuck does that mean? Now it's touching three! I give up. Our friend can pick the fucking restaurant. How about Peacemaker? Hi Amy, you asked if there's any special instruction we wanted to pass along. Just please cremate my father. He has a Peacemaker too. The doctor told me that that would need to be removed. Okay, what is a Peacemaker? Isn't that a gun? Does he just have a Peacemaker in his... Mr. Reyes came directly from the hospital, so we don't have to worry about removing any valuables from him, as the family did not provide any for us to include. However, Mr. Reyes has a p pace pacemaker that we'll need to remove. Oh, pace, not peace. And because pacemakers are batteries, they will explode inside the ho- Oh! What is it, though? What is this? Boop. Listen, you gotta have a little fun with dead bodies. You gotta, gotta enjoy it. Earn. Burp. Sorry, I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. I'm a monster. Oh, right. Earn first. We don't just want his ash to be flying everywhere. Gimme. Okay. Oh. The bone- the bone wasn't moving. There we go. Funeral time! Funeral time! Hello, everyone! Oh, these two look so sad. I also- th it also looks like they're holding hands. Did you ever end up cleaning the air- clearing the air with your father? No, we talked a few times, but no, not really. He sounded like a difficult man. He was stubborn. That's just it. Stubborn. Ouch, my condolences. What do you want to do after this? Pretty nice out. Let's change and go find a patio somewhere. Sounds good. I could really use a beer right now. 
Hey, did I ever tell you the time we tailgated? This guy's sad. I told him to quit smoking, smoking, but of course he never listened to me, so that figures. I wonder if he ever liked me. He was nice to me, but I don't know. He never seemed like he really cared if I was there or not. Wow, this guy sounds like a dick. February 28th, 10.35 a.m. So it's not next month yet, so the funeral still belongs uh, to the one lady. I wouldn't mind working at a funeral home. I think it'd be nice. To Charlie, thought I'd pass this along to you. I may just wanted to thank you for the services the other month and apologize if I was abrupt. It was kind of a shock for me and I didn't feel comfortable with the whole process. He wasn't supposed to die yet. It hasn't been easy. Charlie, I was hoping you wouldn't have to confront this situation yet anyways. They're never easy. Rose and daughters have been asked to prepare the body of a young man who took his own life. He had a will prepared and asked for cremation, but the family has demanded a traditional burial instead. Unfortunately, he didn't make anyone his power of attorney or didn't have any witness sign his living will or his advanced directive regarding these wishes so his family is legally in the right to do whatever they want with the body. It's unfortunate but we have to do as his family wishes. Matthew has graciously offered to take this on if you are uncomfortable with the subject. Instead we have a second body you can prepare for a funeral we're hosting later in the afternoon. Charlie, is a suicide something you're comfortable dealing with? That's fucked. I'll look at that later. You hate mushrooms so much, I found the perfect thing for you. Oh, wait, what's this? Arrows and dog were committed to brown. Huh. We're not that expensive. Anyways. I think I want this mushroom suit. No, it's not called that, but I can't remember the name of it, and I'm writing you on my phone so I don't feel like googling it right now. Anyways, the idea that the biodegradable suit is the deceased wears, it's made with what people call a biomix, i.e. mushrooms and other micro- Oh, that is neat. I think it's- it'll just be like Hannibal, shut up! Wait, don't people- don't tell people I said that, okay? Oh, fuck you, you- Oh my god, Matusli, it's pretty cool. Okay, that's neat. Oh god, welcome back! Now, we rarely do listicles here, but for this month's newsletter, we thought a listicle would be the best way to deliver this month's advice. What not to say at a fucking funeral! Click now for the top 10 things not to say at a fucking funeral! Oh, it literally is! Top 5 things not to- At least they're no longer suffering. Even if this is true, nobody wants to hear it. It's probably not your place to dictate. Who wants to be told that the death of somebody they love is for the best? That makes sense. Were they saved? Oh, no religious statements. Just fucking don't. They're with the angels now. See above note. Let me know how I can help. This one's tricky. You want to help, but those in mourning won't always ask you for help. If you want to help, suggest specific things. For example, I'm free if you need someone to babysit the kids. Actions are better than passive statements. Cook something for them. Take okay, that's nice. That number four is really good. Five. I know how you feel. Even if you think you do, everyone grieves differently. Don't fo- Don't focus this on yourself, bitch. <laughs> Empathy. Empathy doesn't involve having to com commiserate. I learned a new word. Sometimes people will want to hear your experiences, but don't assume that. Nice. Okay, that's neat. Um, see, it's gonna get done either way, so it doesn't matter. That being said... Burial with open casket is more expensive. So we're making more money. <laughs> okay, so this guy killed himself. I'm sorry your family are dickwads, buddy. 
The deceased family has asked for an open casket funeral. Let's start by cleaning. I see why you did it. Your family are jerks. Especially, like, cremation is neat. I'm pretty sure my parents told me they wanted to be cremated. Poof. I don't know about me yet, though. I'm still figuring that out. I probably want to be, like, turned into one of those cold- Like, the mushroom suit she was talking about. I wouldn't mind doing something like that. Also, I stopped reading it, and I'm really proud of myself for how I'm just able to do it. Um... Yeah, so I don't know how I want to be dead. I've seen that they can turn, like, your ashes into a diamond, and that would be pretty cool. To, like, get a little skull statue and have your ashes be a diamond in the skull or something like that. Um, I don't think I'll know anyone I'd want to give that to. I guess depends when I die. So I'll probably have to be a tree. But trees are pretty neat. I could be, like, a mango tree. A mango tree would be cool. So even after it runs blank, I have to leave it there for a second. So that, that's what I messed up the first time. Oh, then makeup. Okay. Oh, we get to meet his asshole family. Let's go. What's up, assholes? Are you the parents? I guess he did kill himself, so this is a pretty fucked up funeral. I wish we were closer. Wow, I can't believe this is real. My baby brother. I should have played more games with him when we asked. I... I heard it wasn't going to be open casket. I'm surprised it's public. Usually funerals for these, these circumstances are more private. I still can't believe he did it. I, I feel like I should have known, you know? Been able to do something to stop it. There was no way to know. You can't blame yourself. He wouldn't have wanted that. I know, I know, it's just, it hurts. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. March 3rd, 10.45 a.m. From Chad, Chad Grant. His name's fucking Chad. We're pleased to bring on Rose and Daughters as part of Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. They will be another institution amongst hundreds of other properties owned across the country. But of course, as part of the adjustment process to the Hillside Heritage Enterprise and culture, there will be a number of changes that will come to Rose and Daughters. We will send out the memo regarding specifics and details of these changes, and ex we expect them to be followed impeccably. Fuck you, Chad! Can I just say, first off, that this is bullcrap? Ugh, I... Knowing how these corporations run, I wouldn't be surprised if they're monitoring our emails now. No, okay, I don't really believe that. At my job, they do. I'm just upset. I get that Amy didn't have much of a choice. You can only fight a huge corporation taking all your business for so long. This isn't six feet under. And they just swooped in, and now we have to deal with their BS practices. They're colder than corpses I pick up from the morgue this morning. Who charges this much for funerals? It feels dirty and exploitive. It doesn't even say the prices on here. Gold- <laughs> Fucking funeral packages. 
Let's grab a drink after work. I need to blow off some steam. And emails aren't really the most appropriate place to do this. Too late for me, I guess. P.S. If you're reading this, Hillside Overlord. Good. Uh, I'll read that in a moment. Can't really write much right now. I have a lot of work to do within... In Ugh. Thanks. What is my life? What is the sentence I just typed? But anyway, this event that I'm forwarding to you is taking place near you. Figured you'd be into it. Might help with that feeling of restlessness you were talking about before. Could be good to talk with some other... Talk about some of the things you're feeling. Lots of death positive people there. Sounds like it'll be your space. Death cafe! I want a fucking death cafe. Come increase awareness of death with a view to helping people make the most of their finite lives. Join us, have tea and cake, and talk with others about our thoughts, fears, and illuminations on death. The founder of the Death Cafe movement, John Underwood, <laughs> once said, When people talk about death and dying, it tends to illustrate their humanity. See everyone at the- That's neat. Funeral rites, even in our own culture, may be something many of us may be unfamiliar with. For many people, all they- all they know of funeral traditions are what they've seen in media. But, and I think this goes without saying, funeral rites and traditions aren't the same across the board. Bo board. <laughs> different cultures have different protocols for cleaning the body to different aspects of service itself. Religion provides different paths for dealing with the death, but the goal is almost always the same. Offering support, guidance, and ease to the people who are grieving. I don't want to read six more. I want to fucking read by Chad. Charlotte. I said I like to be called Charlie. To Charlie! It literally says to Charlie, bitch! Fucking read! I hate Chad. Blow are the details for our next client. Ensure you follow the requested specifications exactly. After you're done, I will review your work in order to properly evaluate you at the end of the month. Okay, that makes sense, though. Thank you, Mr. Grant, for agreeing to take care of Joselyn's cremation. The bike accident was, well, it was more than I was expecting. I know she wanted to be cremated, and to be honest, I don't think I could bear seeing her like that after what happened. Thank you. Where's my- I'll get right on- right to it, but call me fucking Charlie. Bitch. Bro, I wanna fight Chad. Okay, shiny watch. Boop. She doesn't look messed up. I guess they didn't want to make those graphics. But she looks fine. Right, the urn first. I always don't want to put the urn. I hate that, like, I want to put it on top and let it drop in, but it's like, no, put it on the urn. At least it kind of looks the same. It just charges more, I guess. Should we do a vigil at the spot? Careless drivers, I swear to god. She was always so careful. Wore her helmet, signaled, used the bike lanes. Asshole drivers, they need to pay attention. Have you heard what's happening to the driver? No, I haven't wanted to ask Leah. This has been hard enough on them without asking about the legal ramifications of all this. Yeah, after all this, let's see what we can try to do to help them. Shouldn't deal with the death of their partner all by themselves. I have to go through all of her things. How am I supposed to decide what to keep? If you need help, I can help. No, thanks. I mean, but no. I don't know. It's so intimate. Intimate. Feels like I should do it myself. She would kill if others saw the things we have. <laughs> yeah, she was kind of a closed book. Except to you. Yeah. Yeah, she was special. Poor girl. I'm glad I'm here, but wow. I just need a glass of wine and to bitch watch something right now. Oh, I just cut right to between those guys! So glad it was a cremation. I would have lost it seeing her body. Okay, we outie. Am 
March 24th. Forward rules and code of conduct. Charlie, I need a drink. Beer after work. P.S. I also really want a mozzarella sticks. I can be both hungry and angry. And no, I will not say hangry ever. You just said it! Oh god. Hello, as stated in previous emails, here are a few of the new rules and code of conduct I expect you to follow from now on while on any premise belonging to Hillside Heritage Enterprises, Inc. First and foremost, there is a required uniform and strict dress code from now on. Second most importantly to this is that no tattoos are to be visible. If you have visible tattoos, ensure they are properly cut. Fuck you! When speaking with customers and clients, consider the opportunity to upsell, i.e. always encourage the deceased loved ones to purchase the higher quality package. We find that encouraging loved ones to think of the comfort and style of the deceased as an experience with no price limit on it. You Additionally, food is no longer allowed to be brought in. No, the one family specifically thanked us for letting them bring in a home-cooked food. Instead, encourage the deceased loved ones to purchase our premium sandwich and appetizer food package. Our partner catering concepts provides high-quality food that we will deliver weekly from their factory and can easily be defrosted the morning of the funeral. I expect all of the above changes to be inst- You fucking little- Hi, Charlotte. I reviewed your request on behalf of a potential family inquiring if we at Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. can and will perform green burials. I should have informed you of this in the beginning, but we do not perform green funerals as they are not cost effective. All employees and subsidiaries of Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. must comply. We do not wish to lose potential customers though, so do try your hardest to convince the families requesting green burials to instead choose a traditional burial package, complete with embalming caskets and vaults instead. Instead, I trust you will ensure we do not lose any customers, Charlotte. I just saw a video of a gorilla walking on its hind legs. Like a human being, Charlie, a human being. We as a species have seen the beginning of our end. Okay. Uh, the appeal of a home funeral is apparent for many, especially if the deceased was somebody very close to you. The idea of keeping them at home until they are ready to be buried or cremated can be comforting. It wasn't that long ago we were taking care of our own deceased, but nowadays people are quick to pass off their loved ones to a funeral home. Most families aren't given the option and assume this is mandatory. Funeral homes will almost always prepare the deceased using embalming and other methods to make them appear more alive, but isn't this process counterintuitive to the grieving process? Being around the deceased allows the bereaved to spend a longer period of time with their loved one's body, which can help them mourn or give opportunities to family members and friends to see the deceased one last time before they are taken to be buried or cremated. The idea of keeping the deceased body at home might sound gross, but it's important to understand that decomp decomposition takes a long time. And you can further slow this process by keeping your home cool and dry. To be around your loved ones and to see them decay naturally is an important part of the grieving process. Home funerals aren't just more intimate, but they are economical. A traditional funeral, complete with body preparation, services, flowers, cards, and many other hidden costs and fees, can cost upwards of $7,000 to $10,000. When you're... When you're able to take care of your loved one yourself, to wash and dress them, and to organize their viewing from home, the only cost remaining is entirely in the cremation or burial itself. However, it's important to understand that different rules apply given on what state you live in. In all states, it is legal to have your loved one's body at home after they die. States like Alabama, Connecticut, Illinois, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, Nebraska, New Jersey, and New York will require a funeral director's involvement. Ah, one of those states is me. From signing the death certificate to overseeing the burial or cremation. This is a route you decide to go for yourself or your loved ones. Make sure you follow everything by the book. But just so you know, this may be an option. Charlotte, I'm proud to announce that Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. received a contract with the city to dispose of any unclaimed bodies. This is an important revenue stream for us, as I'm sure I don't need to explain to you, Charlotte. 
Alongside Hillside Heritage Enterprises, Inc. is being paid a decent wage from the city for these services. Cremation is preferred here, as it is the most cost-effective of the two options. The first unclaimed body we will be handling belongs to a middle-aged man, possibly home homeless, whose body has yet to be claimed. No special preparations are needed for the cadaver. Well, if it's yet to be claimed, why are we... Yet to be claimed. And now it never will be. He doesn't seem to have any valuables on him that would be damaged during cremation, so let's just worry about putting... What identif... I guess the numbers? Oh, my tattoos are visible. Am I gonna get in a fight with Chad? Oh, right! Earn first! Pick up the bone. Pick- pick up the bone. He only- everybody only has three bones, just so you know. Wait, why is he having- Nobody's gonna be there. night homeless man yeah.